I'm Nathaniel, and in my PhD, I work on probabilistic numerical methods for solving ordinary differential equations. What exactly does this mean? Well, numerical algorithms are used to compute approximate solutions to numerical problems, which could be, for example, solving ODEs, but also problems of linear algebra, integration, and more. In probabilistic numerics, we care not just about getting a single solution estimate, but we really want to get a posterior distribution of our solutions, where the uncertainty of the posterior distribution or the covariance of the posterior distribution should provide a probabilistic quantification of the numerical approximation error of the algorithm. The package propnumdefect.jl implements probabilistic numerical solvers for ordinary differential equations. And we built on ordinarydefect.jl and are compatible with large parts of the differential equations.jl ecosystem. To give some background, we consider standard ordinary differential equations of this form. And the algorithm can be visually explained um, with the following figure, figure because we perform Bayesian inference, which means that we define a prior process over the solution u. We define a measurement process that relates this prior to the ODE solution because it describes the mismatch of the ODE and the current estimate of the derivative. And we condition this process on discrete data points which tell the process to satisfy the ODE on a discrete set of points. And computing this posterior can be done quite efficiently with extended Kalman filtering. To use the solver in Julia, um, you just need to import propnumdefec. And um, this package provides algorithms that can be used with differential equations.jl, such as in this example, the EK0 solver of order five. If you solve ODEs, in this case for very low accuracy settings, you see the difference between a non-probabilistic and a probabilistic solver, because the blue line provided by the non-probabilistic ZIT5 method um, shows a numerical error, but you only get a single line, whereas um, the orange result provided by propnam diffec um, is really a random process. Um, so this is a posterior distribution with mean and covariance, and the shaded area showing the um, uncertainty, so the standard deviation should um, quantify the numerical approximation error. This framework includes explicit and implicit solvers. We provide dense output. You can sample from the solution. And if you got interested in probabilistic numerics, please feel invited to come by the poster. Thank you.